Hello everyone, Chad Miller here uh, with the latest episode of Yoga, Mind, Body, and Spirits. The last episode I focused on mind, and today is body. So if you talk to anybody that knows me uh, through for a long period of time or anywhere near remotely close to me, <laughs> They're gonna let you know that I am very, very shy physically, and I've pretty much always been that way, um, at least from middle school on. Uh, I had severe back knee in middle school. Um, at the end of my high school career, I ended up having open heart surgery, so I've got this huge scar down the middle of my chest, and um, and I've always been super scrawny, and so finally. Uh, in my early 30s, I did put on some weights. Um, I've always been roughly about 120, and I went up to 135. And that wasn't settling very well with me, so I decided to go vegetarian. And I did that for three years, and I dropped a scary amount of weights. Um, I was down to 115 pounds. And a lot of people thought that I was anorexic, and I wasn't. Um, so, um, and it wasn't helping me in any way, shape, or form as far as like how I felt about myself physically. Um, in fact, it, it kind of did nothing at all. I thought by dropping weight that I'd feel better about myself, but then I was so skinny that I was like, Bleh. <laughs> I mean, I look back at some pictures and videos of me and I was so, yikes. That was scary. <laughs> so, um... So at the time that I decided I wanted to uh, start yoga, um, because of my mental health issues, I was put on medication, and that medication uh, shot me up to a weight of 150, and totally was not cool with it. Um, I, I'm not that's well. At least I didn't think I was that superficial, especially in regards to myself. But um, shy and awkward, maybe. But yeah, so. Um, I wanted to use yoga as a way to help me tone up, drop some weight, um, and go that route. So I took a starting day picture, and then here is a picture of me two months after that. And then there's me today. So anybody that knows me knows that I don't go around anywhere shirtless, and um, I don't even walk around my apartment shirtless, I don't sleep without a shirt on, I am always got a shirt on. And a few weeks back I did a, a live video of me doing yoga uh, during my uh, 31 day work, uh, yoga revolution with Adrian. And I was really puffy and bloated that day, and it showed, and I wasn't even thinking about it, and I was just like, oh my god, I, it was horrible. But, um, but I've been noticing so many wonderful things uh, happening to my body. Like, I've been getting muscle tone. Uh, I've never really had biceps before. Um, I've got little bits of pectoral muscles going on. Um, tricep action. Um, so yeah, I mean... I'm feeling more comfortable in the skin, and that's a good thing. Um, so yeah, yoga's been doing that for me, and uh, I, I dropped down to 141 pounds, so that's 9 pounds down. Um, I feel like I've lost more than that, but possibly gained some uh, muscle to make that number not seem so drastic. But. Um, I, I still want to drop some weight. Um, I want to get back down to about 130, 135, where I've been for a long time. Um, definitely not down to the 115. No, no. <laughs> but it's not just about the physicality of the look of it. It's also what I'm able to do with my body. And the poses that I'm able to get into, the flexibility increases that I've been seeing. and and the pride and the push that it gives me to continue on is just phenomenal. And uh, Yoga with Adrian, as I mentioned in the last episode, it's, uh, she's been my coach and she does phenomenal things. And um, so 
if there are days where I am feeling puffy and bloated, I can look up a core video of hers and just focus on core for a little bit. And, uh, or digestive issues, like she has yoga if you're feeling like grr on the inside, you know, and postures and poses that help to massage your digestive organs. And yeah, so it's, it's cool stuff. So I'm really excited to see where my body goes from here. Um, it's been almost a year now since I've been doing this and um, I'm ready to see what the next year is going to do as far as changes in my body, what I'm going to do with it, and all that kind of good stuff. So thank you once again to Yoga with Adrian for being such a, a phenomenal coach and teacher. Um, I'm glad that I can go on this journey with you. And if any of you are inspired to do yoga, um, check her out. She's amazing. Also, uh, keep an eye on me. Um, I'm going to be posting several things relating to yoga with my mind, body, and spirit. Uh, Spirit's coming up next, so that would be a fun little venture. So thank you so much for watching. I certainly appreciate it. Love and light to you all.